Hey folks, Buster, welcome back to another, uh, sort of Pokemon TCG video, and, uh, today we have a sponsored segment, uh, from the folks at Titan Shield, right? If you guys remember, the last time, was it the last TCG video, or was it the one before that? Uh, we were unboxing, uh, I think celebrations, right? And then, like, in the middle <laughs> of pulling cards, we ran out of sleeves? Which is super awkward, you know, we were panicking, all that stuff, uh, but thankfully, um, <laughs> it looks like the our, our friends at Titan Shield actually might have saw that video and decided, you know, to send us some help uh, our way, right, with, um, with with their with their products, with a, a big box of stuff here. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's let's um, let's check out the um, stuff here, right, first, and uh, hopefully <laughs> this will help us not worry about that again, right? So uh, here's the box set. It's very very heavy. Almost pulled the muscle trying to bring this thing up. A lot a lot of stuff here, right? And uh, all right, let's open one of these up. Alright, that's their uh, mission statement right right over there on the box. It's uh, Empower Passion. Very, very cool. Alright, there is so much stuff in here. Oh my goodness. Uh, first of all, there is a handwritten card, which is, you don't see too much these days, which is really, really nice to see. Um, so, there's a handwritten card, and here are the stuff. So, there's a lot of stuff in here, right? There's an incredible amount of stuff. Um, there's a lot of sleeves, uh, which is always nice to see, right? Some, um, you know, wow. Okay, do I have to even count these? Uh, so they have some for tournament use, which is really, really nice. That's 200 over here. Uh, you have some premium sleeves. Uh, that's, a, that's 150 over there. Um, wow, there's so many. It's another 150 <laughs> different colors and all that, right? Um, professional play, 140 microns thickness, right? So, uh, yeah, uh, Titan Shield, as you guys could probably tell, um, they work on a uh, card protection stuff, right? Which, again, uh, I personally need a lot <laughs> just because, uh, you know, we do a lot of these videos and I run out from time to time. So, uh, hopefully, again, uh, we won't have to worry about this in the future because these there's a lot over here there has to be like a thousand right there has to be a thousand sleeves over here <laughs> um I, I don't even know if i'm gonna open that many cards uh so yeah anyways um time shield makes some of the best uh, affordable and um durable very very durable uh card sleeves in the industry and that's uh you know uh, their mission statement is actually, they call it an Empower Passion, which is really, really nice because it empowers collectors to protect their value and passion, right? Um, so, like, when I was a kid, and uh, this reason uh, we're going to go over my current collection of my favorite cards today is because when I was a kid, uh, I bought so many Pokemon cards, but back then i didn't know much about you know card protection all that stuff and and well i screwed it all up and every time i think about it uh, again makes me very very sad <laughs> because uh that's that's probably a lot of very very valuable cards and a lot of you know not just value but a lot of nostalgia uh, memories that are kind of lost now which really really sucks um but yeah today we are going to uh you know just go over uh i guess top 20 favorite cards that i have at the moment right and we'll sleeve them up uh make sure they're safe and make sure nothing happens to them all right so uh yeah wow so many of these sleeves these are incredible <laughs> these are in ab ab absolutely incredible because they're like there's so many per pack as well right which makes the value um so much better wow there's <laughs> still more <laughs> anyways um look at all these Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. So, uh, in terms of the, like, spe you know, technical specifics, right? Um, they say the, uh, the premium sleeves are about 100 microns, color sleeves are 140 microns, and penny sleeves are 60 microns, and then pop uh, protectors are uh, 0 0.5 mm, right? So, yeah, they do um have these on amazon right so you could you know prime members get that uh two day uh, or next day shipping right and uh also uh if you guys do use uh, our code over here you get a 15 percent uh discount code as well which is really really nice use code 
Posimon 15, P O C E M O N 15. And yeah, let's uh, let's take out some of these and let's uh, make sure our uh, cards are protected. All right, they also gave us some uh, pockets, right? Nine pocket protector pages that we could fit in some binders. Uh, I haven't actually had like a um, a a proper Pokemon card binder in a while now, so. Uh, that's gonna be very very helpful and The most helpful one because I actually don't have a Didn't have a lot of these to begin with are These right which are really really nice the uh, the top loaders, right? Um, it's solid amount of top loaders which are gonna help as well, right? Especially for the most valuable cards We got to make sure we have the them in these uh, top loaders. All right, so let's grab some of these top loaders out here Let's uh uh, here's the sleeves that I'm gonna use purple one my favorite color also very very uh, These are um, 140 microns because these cards. I'm not gonna be like using uh, that much again These are mostly collectibles now. I'm going to tournaments or whatever um, So we're gonna keep uh, keep it in these right so uh, On top of you know afterwards putting them in their uh, their top lower. So let me uh, unpack these first right Okay, let's get these. These are, um, these are, uh, these are how many? Three packs? 140 in, in each, right? All right, there we go. We have our sleeves and our topplers. So, to start this off, again, we got 20 of these. All these are modern cards, mostly from XY forward, right? Uh, because I stopped collecting, uh, at around black and white. Um, so, yeah, that's, I guess, where my collection, like, there's, there's like a gap in my collection, right? Uh, obviously, I first started with the base set, all that stuff, the Neos, all that. Um, but yeah, most of these are, uh, well, all of these are from X and Y forward. So uh, starting off number 20, I'd say it's this one. Um, I don't remember exactly which set this is from. Uh, is this Roaring Skies, the Tate and Liza card, right? Full art, um, which is cool because first of all, I do like them. Uh, I like most, I'm just a huge Hoenn stand, <laughs> mostly, and I don't really get full art trainer cards that much, or that often, so I'll take what I can get, honestly, I'll take what I can get, uh, so they're, they're, they're cool, right, they're cool, they're definitely not my favorite, uh, Hoenn trainers, but they still are full art Hoenn trainers, and I love full art trainer cards, personally, I just don't pull them too often, unfortunately, I mean, their rates are pretty rare, so it's not, like, really my fault, alright, anyways, let's, uh, let's, Put them in the top loaders, make sure these are all all safe, safe and sound, right? Um, don't want anything happening to them. All right, put that aside. Uh, next, I'd say is this uh, Darkrai GX. I think this was a promo, right? I think this was a promo, if I remember correctly. Uh, but this is a shiny Darkrai, and that is very, very cool. <laughs> shiny Darkrai, very, very cool, basically. Right, so let's uh, let's make sure we have this one sleeved up as well. All right, and my brother likes putting them in upside down, and he's asked me to do that as well, uh, just because he says like his logic is uh, he'd rather have like you know um, the the bottom of the card damage than the top, which I don't I don't know if that's true, but. Uh, I mean, <laughs> with this much protection, I, I highly doubt they're going to be damaged either way, right? So, alright, there we go, that's a Dark Heart GX. Um, we're kind of down from like 20 back, right? So I guess this is what, 17? Uh, you guys saw me pull this on camera, the uh, Nagna Dell GX, right? The shiny one from the uh, the Hidden Fates uh, Elite Trainer box, right? That um, uh, one of the viewers sent us so that's very very cool right um so this is fantastic like i really really like ultra beast overall right and uh Nagendale is obviously you know one of the cool cooler ones um and it's mainly the shiny colors are just so good right the shiny colors for Nagendale are so good like all of the ultra beasts i'd say have really really great shiny colors uh favorite moza shiny is really really cool um uh, uh Guz i almost said guzma <laughs> that's just that's that's the sync pair uh, Buzzwell. Buzzwell shiny is very, very cool as well, right? And then uh, you got uh, Nagan and Dells, which is, in my opinion, one, at least top three, right, in terms of shiny Ultra Beasts. So that's really, really nice. Uh, moving on, speaking of Ultra Beasts, another Alolan, uh, Alolan trainer over here. Full art, uh, Plumeria. Again, uh, she's not my favorite character, but I definitely do like Plumeria at least, and this one looks really, really nice. 
Um, it's just that I'm so down bad on trainer, <laughs> full art trainer cards, right? Uh, I was, <sighs> this thing like killed me the most. I was, I was planning on buying that full art Sabrina, Sabrina's suggestion, right? Uh, it was at like 30 bucks, um, but I didn't buy it. And then the next week when I, uh, when I actually wanted to go ahead and, and, and just get one, uh, it went up to like 200 bucks. It come, it came down a bit now, so it's not like not as bad, but like right when I was about to buy it, like the prices just like went like through the roof. All right, this one is I think another one that we opened up on camera. I think uh, my brother opened this up on camera, right? This uh, uh, Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia card. Oh my god, the Rainbow Rare looks incredibly, incredibly, incredibly good, right? This is like this is some crazy stuff. All right, so let's make sure we have that one sleeved as well. Uh, it should be a pretty powerful. I, I again, I haven't played um, the actual game in a while, so. Uh, and by game, I mean the TCG, not not uh, not Brilliant Diamond. Although I also have a Noble Brilliant Diamond in like two days. Um, but uh, yeah, really, really, really great card, obviously. But but I heard this is also um really uh, like good like meta wise as well, right? So make sure that one's good. Next is the uh, Mewtwo GX. I think this is also from uh, is this from Hidden Fates or is this from Shining Legends? Uh, I think it's from Shining Legends. This Fall Art Mewtwo. Uh, uh, no, the GGX yeah, can't be Shining Legends. Uh, I guess it's in the face then. Uh, but yeah, I love Mewtwo. <laughs> Pretty simple. I love Mewtwo. This one looks really, really cool. Um, although I really also do like that, um, uh, that one in that, like, Shadow Ball Mewtwo. Uh, well, not Shadow Ball. Was it something? Ball? Well, it was like the XY one. Um,. You guys know which one I'm talking about, right? The the the, the XY uh, Mewtwo EX. That one's one of my uh, all-time favorites uh, in terms of Mewtwo, right? That one's really, really cool. Uh, I used to uh, have a deck of that um, when playing uh, TCGO, right? So, that's some good stuff there, right? And uh, moving on, we have the Rainbow Rare Caesar VMAX that we pulled out of a celebration box where, if I remember correctly, we didn't get, like, any... We didn't get any um, celebration uh, or classic collection cards, but like we just randomly <laughs> pulled this Rainbow Rare Caesar V Max, which is still one of the weirdest unboxings <laughs> that we've had so far, right? So that was uh, that was weird, but I'll take it because you guys know I love Scyther and I also love Caesar. I don't actually hate Caesar. <laughs> I do actually like Caesar. Speaking of things that I liked, a Ditto over here. Ditto's always been in, you know, uh, one of the my my top ten favorite Pokemon, and uh, being shiny over here also really really nice. Uh, I think we pulled this on camera too. This was the um, the Shining Fates, right? Pull this one crazy. Uh, I would also would have loved to have that uh, that uh, shiny Ditto V Max as well. That would have been nice. Uh, but I'm content. I'm content with this. Uh, as well, because again, I, I I love Ditto. It's it can turn into anything. How cool is that? Except like Derpy, um, which is which is even better. All right, next one. Um, Dawn Wings Necrozma GX from Ultra Prism. The only pre-release event I've ever attended, and because uh, you only get like what three packs to pull in the pre-release -pre event, four packs, um, and I pulled a, a Dawn Wings Necrozma GX out of one of those. Um, it's not the card per se, although the card does look really, really cool, but it's just more like of a sentiment, uh, sentimental value, right? Um, you know, good memories, good memories, pre-COVID, <laughs> right? Got to, you know, go out, go to pre-release events, all that stuff. Fantastic things, right? So that's, uh, that's the Dawn Wings to Crossma GX card. Um, moving on, this next one, uh, again, nothing crazy, like... A lot of these cards aren't like really, really like crazy, like value wise cards, but just things I really, really love. This Pikachu, right? We pull like seven or eight of these. This is definitely not something that has like a lot of value in terms of a card itself, but I just love this card. It's just such a smart, smart creation, right? Like whoever, whoever thought of this idea, just absolutely genius idea to make this for um, celebrations, right? Just a, such a... God, I wish I was that smart <laughs> to 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 to, uh, to design one of these cards for again the uh, the the the, uh, the anniversary set, right? Um, all right, so that's good. Uh, next, 
Over here we have a Blastoise, the base set Blastoise that we pulled from Celebrations from the Classic Collection. Um, the only like base set starter I ever had when I was a kid was Venusaur, and again, they're lost now, so it makes me very sad. Uh, but Blastoise is my favorite starter of the uh, three Kanto ones, and it used to be my favorite starter for the longest time. Now I think it's Blaziken. But I still, I don't know. It depends on my mood. Some days it's Blaziken, some days it's Blastoise. So, yeah, we love Blastoise. Shout out Blastoise. Um, very, very cool. All right, next we got this Mimikyu. This Mimikyu and Ace Rolla from, I think, Cosmic Eclipse, right? Where, uh, you know, we had, like, a lot of those cards with their trainers, uh, uh, Pokemon and trainer uh, combo cards, right? Uh, and that's fantastic. And uh, it's great that we also got her in Poem Masters as well with the uh, Mimikyu, right? Yeah, the Fall Ace Rolla, even though, you know, you know, it's not that great, but uh, <laughs> uh, still very, very good outfit and uh, fits with uh, with Mimikyu as well. Um, next off, I think this is from XY Evolutions, but this Gold Dragonite looks sick. This just straight up looks like fantastic, right? Like, oh my goodness, look at that thing. Look at it, it looks so cool. It looks so cool. And, you know, that's, a, a, that's saying a lot coming from me because I personally don't find Dragonite to be a very cool Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I don't know, he just looks dorky, which is fine. Which, you know, that's Dragonite's charm, but this actually makes him look really, really menacing and uh, really, really cool. So uh, I love this one as well. Uh, moving on, the I think this is the, the Hidden Fates uh, ETB promo card. This is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. It's so good, right? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if I should take it out of the, the plastic um, or not, but I'm just going to put it in here for now. You know what? I'll probably consult them because, they're you know, they're the um, the folks at Giant Shield. They're the experts at this, right? In terms of should I keep it in the plastic or should I take it out uh, and put it in the sleeves? Because, uh, well, it's definitely going to be more, more safe in the sleeves. But uh, I don't know. Maybe there's more value if you keep it in the plastic uh, wrapping. Uh, moving on, a card that we recently pulled, well, technically, uh, I didn't pull it, my my brother pulled it, right? The Team Magma Groudon. Uh, love this one, love this card. Fantastic stuff, right? Um, my favorite, like, I mean, it's it's mostly, probably no, mostly n nostalgia, because, like, cards these days look just so much more amazing. But I love the EX era, right? The EX era right some of those sets dragon frontier deoxys uh sandstorm was cool too because i like fossil pokemon um yeah delta species right i love delta species they should bring that back i've said that a billion times now but they should totally bring delta species back moving on shiny rayquaza ex also i think a promo from one of those um promo boxes but i love rayquaza i love rayquaza i love shiny rayquaza a shame that uh, that the Shiny Rayquaza in uh, Pokemon Masters didn't get buffed, which I'm so salty about, but, you know, whatever, I guess. Um, but, yeah, this looks so cool. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, as you could probably tell, a lot of these are Hoenn Pokemon, because I like Hoenn. I'm a, you know, you're a resident YouTube Hoenn stan, okay? Uh, good stuff. Fantastic region, good Pokemon, all that stuff. All right, next is we're at our, what, top four, right? Number four. Also recently pulled from Celebrations, this Gold Star Umbreon. Th my favorite shiny overall. Like, straight up my favorite shiny Pokemon, Umbreon. It looks so cool. <laughs> shiny Umbreon, right? And obviously the extremely rare card. Um, not not the Celebrations version. I mean, the Celebration version is pretty rare too, but like the original one, um, because I think it was one of those like pop um, collections, right? Pop series, right? Or whatever, which is... Uh, very extremely limited, right? You don't see those uh, often at all, right? Because they're uh, they add really low quantities, all that stuff. And I mean, shiny shiny Umbreon, like who doesn't like shiny Umbreon? Right? It looks so so good, so good, right? Uh, all right, going into the top three. So number three over here is surprise Umbreon again. <laughs> Umbreon with Darkrai. This is another promo, right? Um, one of those uh, tag team premium boxes that uh, one of the first uh, TCG unboxings that I did on the channel, right? Umbreon and Darkrai over here. I love this promo art. It's so good, right? Both of these two. It's so fitting, especially, you know, considering Umbreon's, you know, story within TCG, right? 
Um, because if you guys don't know, Umbreon actually has like a bit of a, you know, story in terms of all the Umbreon arts that it's been in, right? Uh, revolving around this clock tower, right? Which is, uh, just one of the, you know, most amazing things that their TCG team has, has produced, right? Um, number two on the list, also from the same set, also the same pair of promos. And even though I like Umbreon more, this has a better art. I gotta admit, this one has a better art. This one looks just... Look at that Deoxys. <laughs> it looks... It looks amazing. It just... It straight up looks amazing. Like how it's just coming out of like the crater and then you have um, Espeon over there, right? This is just one of the most amazing card arts I have ever seen. Straight up. <laughs> this is... Wow. This is some next level stuff. Man, I wish... I wish they'd, they'd make more uh, tag team cards. I wish the tag team uh, thing wasn't ju wasn't just like a one and done gimmick for like the the Sun and Moon sets, but uh, yeah, Sun and Moon had some fantastic sets, man. Sun and Moon sets were honestly underrated. Those, like as, as good as the Sword and Shield ones are, and X and X Y sets were, Sun and Sh uh, or Sun and Moon is, in my opinion, so far the best. Although Sword and Shield still has a lot of time to go, they could definitely take it right. The VMAX Climax cards that we've we, that we uh, see coming out of Japan, those look insanely good, right? Insanely good. And my favorite card of all time that I have is this Alagazam EX. Alagazam EX. Few reasons. Alagazam, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, right? Umbreon, my favorite evolution, also in my top, you know, favorite Pokemon of all time. Lugia, my first ever Pokemon game is Pokemon Silver. Holds a very, very special place in my heart. And Lugia also, top three, top four, my favorite legendaries. Uh, straight up. And they put them all in one card. That is so cool. That is the best. This is undoubtedly my favorite card. Not only the favorite card that I own of all time, straight up my favorite card of all time. Uh, that's amazing. Shout out to Fluffy who sent me this. Uh, it's, it's insane. This is my favorite card of all time straight up <laughs> it's not any of the old set you know cards or whatever it's just this one it's this one yeah how can you not love this it's well okay i guess if you're not me then maybe <laughs> maybe you don't care about this card that much because again it has like three of my like top you know 10 favorite pokemon all in one all in one card are so yeah anyways yeah that's uh that's me for this one i guess uh that's uh Again, my, the top 20 current cards that I own. And again, shout outs to Titan Shield for sponsoring this uh, segment over here. Again, you guys could go check out the link in the description box down below uh, to get them on Amazon for the, again, very, very fast uh, shipping for Prime members. Again, also use the code POSIMON15 for the 15% uh, discount code. And uh, yeah, uh, we now have uh, over a thousand... <laughs> more sleeves which hopefully means we won't be running out anytime soon and a, a you know solid amount of uh, top loaders which are really really nice that i really needed as well so again uh shout out to tiny chill for helping out uh the channel helping us actually um well you know protecting our cards over here and to help you guys as well to uh, help uh again also to protect your cards and empower uh your passion um, for your collection. So anyways, uh, that's me with this one. Hope you all gentlemen guys think of the comments down below uh, Like show this video, start our channel for some more. I guess Pokemon TCG content in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one